keys in C major. This is the correct chord progression. Just have to play four measures and... All right, one song done. Now, only 178 left. Hi, I'm Anne Nicole. Mm, yeah, I'm the guy who made a banger. Using homophobia and this title is too long. Yeah, I also made a music tier list where I didn't upset anyone. And today, I'm back after one year without making an Omori video to do the stupidest challenge I've done. A few months ago, Omokat, the creator of Omori, debuted as a VTuber. Apart from promoting merchandise to cope after playing Omori, playing video games that no one plays anymore. Wait, no, motherfucker. You can find most of the time drawing streams. Omocat has taken up a challenge that is a classic for illustrators, drawing all 151 Pokemon from memory. A challenge that took six hours to complete. And that's where I got an idea. You took the Pokemon challenge, you had the Omori soundtrack, and bam! Playing all 179 Omori songs from memory in three days. Why? Because I'm an Omori brain rot! But this is also a new video format I want to try that would allow me to transition smoothly to other music that I love. And to achieve this challenge... I... But the webcam. So I can show off my Omori first anniversary print and my Made in Abyss Nanachi figure. I tried to make something presentable because that will be the only shot you will have during the whole video. Before starting, let me show you something. No, not the t-shirt. This is the first ukulele I was supposed to play with, but due to technical reason, I will play with this one. Better for recording. I prefer to hide my face for now to better show me. But I put my Omori icon right there, I think. Thanks, human and echo. Now, you must think I'm making the challenge harder by playing the ukulele. But don't be fooled. The tenor ukulele is my favorite instrument. And I'm not bad at it. As you saw in the intro, I put conditions to consider the challenge done. First, play in the right key. Second, play the correct chord progression. And third, play at least four measures. Oh, do you have any favorite songs in the Omori soundtrack? Well, expect me to butcher them. Oh. Can you guess how many songs I'm going to make it through? I think I'll run out of battery soon. Will I be able to complete this challenge? Ah, Fox. I can't do better. This is the dumbest challenge I've done. What a beautiful day to play the ukulele for three days in a row. The goal is to play around 60 songs per day. A bit like how I split my music tier list. The only references I will have are the number and the title of the song. I think we're good to start. Oh, but before recording, I almost forgot to set up the multi-track. Otherwise, I will have this crappy sound during all the recording. And this video would never have existed. Okay, now that we're good, let's go! This is the only time I play the songs in one take. I quickly abandoned the ID because there are different keys, different tunings, etc. Moving on to the first difficult song, By Your Side. This is the one.
Okay, now it's time to stop. I can't do better. Sunny. I already played this song in my Omori music covers video. This one is fun to play. If you see this, it means I can't play it. My first miss. And probably not the last. It sounds bad. But at least I can play it. Ignore the last wrong note. The next one is quite complicated, but I know how to play it. For the moment, we are progressing well, but the more we advance, the harder it will be to remember and play. This time with Acrophobia. How will I be able to play it? Well, how about playing at 400% speed? Does that count? Personally, I think it's okay, but I would understand if some people disagree. Let me know in the comments if you validate or not. Yeah, of course I'm trying to invoke the blessing of the YouTube algorithm. This song is definitively not meant to be played on ukulele. But there are worse transcriptions, and by that I mean in this video. Oh, come on! For poems in the fog, I had to tune my low G string to low F because the key of this song is F major. Honestly, it doesn't sound as good as I thought. Maybe the arpeggio would sound better on a guitar. If you see this, it means that I don't remember. Same tuning in low F. Oh, and for those wondering, yes, I have the perfect pitch and a good memory. Oddly useful in this specific case.
Man, I love this theme. But I failed. If you see this, it means I'm vibing. But more seriously, either I can't play it or I don't remember. Thirtieth song. Only 149 left. Unrelated, I got a lot of comments asking for an Undertale video. I didn't want to make a music tier list because I'm afraid of the fandom or a musical analysis because there are already plenty. But here is my question Would you like a video on Undertale with this concept? I think this format could work well with this memorable soundtrack and maybe playing all 101 Undertale songs from memory could become a popular challenge for musicians. In the meantime, let's finish the Omori soundtrack first. I know how to play it, but I still hate it. Man, what a shame not to play this banger. beginning of the complete space boyfriend menu
attending was lame. But at least it's done. If you noticed, they are repeating themes. The song is called Photograph, but I'm literally playing Lost at a Sleepover. Same for Stardust Diving, and You Were Wrong, Go Back. It's more obvious when you're a musician playing the songs. The feeling of playing songs you enjoyed while playing Omori makes me appreciate the soundtrack more that I already love. Now, back to reality, with some quick shots. At that moment, fatigue begins to set in. It's been hours that I've been standing and my fingers were starting to hurt. But the day wasn't over yet. Yeah, at this point, I didn't know what else to do. You know what's next, it means everything. For this one, I wanted to add distortion but it doesn't sound good on an electroacoustic. Otherwise, I think I did pretty well. Not bad, not bad at all. This song really has a nostalgic feeling. 
We are one third of the way through the Omori soundtrack and we are coming to the end of the first day. If you liked this video so far, consider liking and sharing this video so that the YouTube algorithm will be favorable to me. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a very small channel. If I hadn't had this video that exploded, I wouldn't have continued making videos. But thanks to people who liked and shared, I had the motivation to continue sharing my passion for music. To these people, I would like to say thank you. Okay, two more songs before the end of day one. Oh well, it's getting dark, let's continue tomorrow.